you know, I remember when I first started to become really successful, it was like this exact same time of year. It was years ago, and it was sort of right after Christmas, right before New Year's, and I was sort of going into this year where I, and I had been doing this for a couple of years, like I quit my job and, and I was going to go and do like contract work. So I was going to basically go and work at a, an accounting firm and, and work during the tax season, the audit season, and work as a contractor. And I did this for a couple of years, which honestly was an amazing experience because I would only have to work for like two and a half months. And then what would happen is I would make, I can't even remember what I made, maybe like 40, 50 bucks an hour. And I would work overtime. So then I would get paid overtime on top of that. And I ended up saving a, a tremendous amount. And that's actually one of the ways that I got out of debt years ago was working these little contract gigs. And so I had done it like two years in a row, I believe. And I was sitting there and looking at doing a third year and it was between Christmas and New Year's, but I kind of tried a lot of different businesses and I couldn't really get anything to stick. And I finally had this sort of realization and when I was sitting, you know, I was actually, I, I was at this crappy little Airbnb. My wife and I were actually traveling uh, at that point, was it for nine months? I think we might've been traveling for nine months, traveling on Airbnb and staying at different places. And we were staying in this little cottage and I had this realization going into the next year. So right now I believe, you know, it's December, what is 26th, day after Christmas. And it was about the same time that year. And I had this vision in my head and I, and I sort of, I could almost visualize like the, the, the next January, February, March, April. And I had this image in my head that if I would go and try to meet with as many business owners as possible in every single one of those days and every single one of those weeks. And I would just try to reach out to business owners and then I would try to talk to them and see if I could help them. And, and, and every single call, I, I had it in my head that every single call I was going to ask for the sale. So I was actually gonna ask to, to say, hey, well, do you wanna work with me and here's the price and actually do that. And I had that visualization. And I, I just kind of, I remember thinking in my head, like if I do that, if I do that, is there any possible way that that's gonna fail. And in my head, I kind of knew like, yeah, obviously like a lot of people are gonna say no, or you know, not everybody's gonna go for it, but would it fail? Would it be possible for that to not work out in some way? And I just didn't, uh, I didn't see that it, that, it, that it could fail. And I canceled that contract job and I just went absolutely nuts. And I did everything that I could to get as many appointments as possible, reach out to as many people as possible. You know, that year, um, and, and up until that point, my wife and I combined had never really made more than much more than like $100,000 together, right? Um, but that year, we actually did 1.4 million in sales. And I think we reached 100,000 a month in sales, like by the month of May. And so, or maybe it was April even. And so, you know, completely changed our, our lives, completely changed, you know, really the trajectory of, of everything that we have done. And, you know, I, this is such an important time. I, I, I love this time because it just allows you to sort of reflect on what happened during the year, look at next year. But I think the reason why, and I had been doing that for years, so it's, you know, not just because it's this time of year does that necessarily mean that you're going to be successful. But I think, I think what switched was that I sort of made the decision to do those things, even though like I really didn't want to. Like pro previously in that year, I remember telling my wife like, I mean, you know, sales is sort of stupid. Like you talk to five people, you only get one person to say yes. It's like a big waste of time. But really, if I'm honest with myself, like I was just afraid of, you know, talking to people and, and doing the consultation. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to ask for the sale. I didn't know how to handle objections. I didn't even know really what I was selling or what my pricing was. And so, you know, I had all those fears. And so instead of saying like, I'm deficient, I don't know how to do these things. I need to figure it out. I sort of wrote it off as like, oh, I don't want to be salesy or I don't want to be, you know, that way or, or whatever the case may be. But as soon as it clicked and I made the decision, I said, you know what? I'm gonna look like a fool. There are gonna be moments where this doesn't work out, but I'm gonna try as much, I'm gonna make the decision to grow my business and, and focus on that. And I did that right between Christmas and New Year's and that's when it took off. And so, you know, right now when you're looking at and planning the next year, it's kind of cool, right? 2020, and I just feel like that, that perfectly rounded number is just sort of a really exciting time, right? It's the turn of a new decade. Like what things have you been avoiding that you now need to do? And, you know, you have to be honest with yourself, like, you know, I mean, you're, you're watching this video right now, right? So, um, you know, it's just you and me here, right? There's nobody else paying attention. You're just watching this, consuming this in your mind. 
you have to be honest with yourself, you know, because if you're not honest with yourself, if you just think, no, I'm fine, like, you know, I don't need to worry about these things, like, I just want clients to come to me, or I don't need to, up, you know, change the pricing on my existing clients, or I don't need to get a system together to get appointments, or I don't need coaching, you know, all these kinds of things, right? You know, the only person that is harmed by you having these different kinds of limiting beliefs or, or you know, sort of this antagonistic relationship towards the growth of revenue or sales or getting appointments or changing the pricing or charging at a totally different level, all the things that we typically help people with and probably part of the reason that you're watching this video. If you are having a, a thought about these things and it's not productive for you, then you should ditch that thought. Like, I would rather you believe in something that is a little bit crazy but gives you a better chance of succeeding than something that is, quote, absolutely true but, like, holds you back. And so, you know, I, I, I always try to ask myself, like, are the beliefs that I have serving me and are they working, right? Am I where I want to be? Am I getting what I want to get? And if you're not, then you might want to consider changing those things. And it is absolutely the perfect time to do it. And so whatever you've been holding back on, right, whether it's working with us, you know, reaching out to an existing client, getting new appointments, doing sales, uh, increasing your pricing, upselling existing clients, like hiring that next person, making that next investment in the business, like, really what does it need to be this next year and if you had to focus on one or two things what are what is it right i always find that you know the number of people that i get in front of on a weekly basis whether it be through videos like this or on one-on-one -on -one calls or if i can get onto a stage and talk to a group of business owners like the amount of time that i spend in front of other people is directly proportionate to my income and you know, it's interesting. I remember for years, I always wanted to be the guy that, you know, just had a computer and, and sort of, uh, you know, stayed at home and, and could sort of generate a living just sort of working in the screens, right? But the reality of it is, if you're a small business owner in America, specifically, if you're doing tax, accounting, wealth management, you know, the, the number one indicator of your success is how much time you spend in front of other people. Right. If you're on a brand new prospect call, if you're on the phone with an existing client, maintaining that relationship, creating some sort of impact and value for them, retaining that revenue, getting that renewal, getting them to go for another year, getting them to upsell into something else. And so as much as I don't want to do it, right, I don't want to be out there in front of people. I don't I know every every single time I do an event, every single time I do a video like this, every single time that I, you know, uh, do a sales consultation, I get nervous. Every single time, 100% of the times. And people think, no way, Andrew, you don't do that because you're good at this. You know, you're, you do all these things. I get nervous just like anybody else. But it's just like that December that I had years ago in that cottage, that little crappy Airbnb cottage where you sit there and you just decide, you know what? There's going to be failure. We're going to lose, right? There's going to be people that say no. There's going to be people that complain. It's going to get awkward. I'm, there's going to be days where I wake up and I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it was pretty funny because, you know, for the first sort of, three months after I made that decision. I was even living in another crappy Airbnb doing these calls and trying to get this business going. And, and you know, it was a situation where, I mean, this was a, a studio, you know, that I was living in and doing these calls and trying to change the business. And in that little crappy studio is where we really grew this thing up to 50, 60, 70,000 a month in sales. And so it, it doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter where you're living. It doesn't matter what you're doing get up every day, right, get dressed. I remember in that crappy little studio, I would get up every day and wear, you know, something similar to this. I think I would wear a jacket or a sweater, jeans, did my hair, got ready because I needed to feel like I deserved it. And so if you haven't been at that point where you put yourself out there, give yourself every edge and every advantage for what you have right now, do as many freaking appointments as we come into the new year as you possibly can. Now, when I went through that period, I also worked with a coach and I've actually had many different coaches, you know, since then. Um, and that honestly has been one of the biggest changers, uh, you know, game changers for my business. I was actually messaging one of the guys who's one of my mentors this morning. And I can tell you that I'm, I'm too, I'm not smart enough to figure this stuff out on my own. Um, I've probably, sp I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on different mentors, different coaches. And so, you know, part of being able to take action is just seeing a simple method to do so. So once it gets simplified and once you see it and you believe in it and you're boom, like for me, that simplicity of as many appointments as I could and I, every single one I would ask for the sale, that simplicity allowed me to take action, which allowed me to actually go out and get the result. And so for those of you guys, like if you've never worked with a coach before or you've worked with a coach before, but it hasn't really worked out, 
you know, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to work with us. So there's going to be a link around this video or it could be below uh, where you can go ahead and apply to work with us. And so we do a 12 month long coaching program. And, you know, it's funny because I remember my first business coach I ever had, you know, and I'm not going to say who it is, but this individual um, really didn't do a great job. And, you know, one of the things I've learned is if you're going to ask people for business advice, you kind of want to rank their opinions based on the size of their business. So for example, if somebody has a $60,000 a year business, like that's their example. If somebody has no business, like your, you know, your broke uncle that you, you know, talked to at Christmas yesterday who was just bitching on about politics, right? You probably don't want to listen to broke uncle bitching on about politics, right? And then what about like somebody that has 60,000 in sales versus somebody that has 250,000 in sales versus somebody that has 10 million in sales. So, you know, or or 100 million in sales. And so, you know, you want to kind of weight the credibility of these people based on their success. And also based on the time frame. So if somebody has 250,000 in sales, but they're 60 years old versus somebody that has 200, and they've been doing it for 30 years, versus somebody that has 250,000 in sales that's been doing it for a year, you know, you want to rate the credibility of the people that you listen to based on their the, the size of their business in terms of revenue and profitability. And then also based on the amount of time that it took them. Because if you're going to emulate people and you want to be similar to them, you should look at their real results and you should look at things that are, are difficult to, to fake or that di are difficult to be real. And so, you know, when you look at our business, obviously you're here watching this video. Um, we'll do over $12 million in sales this year. Um, we've got 35 or 35 or so full-time employees. Um, we've worked with a little over 8,000 tax and accounting firms. And so I tell you all that just because, you know, for us, like we, we really have done the work and we have worked with a, tr a ton of different people. We've learned so many things. There's no way we could have done what we've done today if we didn't have deep value for the clients and the customers that we serve. And so if you're looking to work with somebody that has experience working in this industry, has crushed it for hundreds, thousands and thousands of people, we'd love to work with you. So there'll be a little link you can apply. And when you come on the call, what's kind of cool now, in the past we used to do like, oh, okay, hey, we'll have a sales consultation and we'll talk to you. Now what we do is whenever somebody applies to work with us, they go through a presentation. It takes about an hour and it's about 300 slides and we prepared it and it, it basically goes through all of the different parts of the business. So client acquisition, conversion, so actually selling, you know, how you go through and convert somebody on the right price in the package, how you retain clients and grow the account, how you expand the account of the clients. And then we talk a little bit about operations, firm systems, but we'll show you like the templates, the processes, um, you know, case studies of other people that have worked with us and how they built out their business, wh what they've grown to. And so, it's almost like a movie that we do. And so it's an incredibly valuable part of the process. And that's one thing I always uh, preach. And you know, you should think about this too for your business. Like when a business owner comes and sits down with you, like you should have the goal of in that first meeting, right? That one hour consultation where the business owner sits with you, like you should make them more of an ROI in that one hour consultation with the information, the knowledge, the, the resources that you share than whatever they're going to pay you over the next year, right? So if somebody's going to come in and work with you, they're going to pay a thousand bucks a month for accounting, they're going to pay three thousand bucks a year for tax preparation. That's fifteen thousand dollars a year. Like, how can you get transfer them more knowledge in that one hour to provide more value to them in that one hour? And yes, it's still a sales consultation for you, but you're providing so much value that, like, if they do decide to sign up, it's pretty much free because they already got their ROI just based on the value of that conversation. And that's exactly how I built out our process. So if you apply, you're gonna go through and see I think it's like 360 slides where we walk through all of this and you know, uh, really share all that stuff with you for free. You don't even need to make the decision or the commitment to move forward. So you'll see a link, go ahead and apply, and we'd love to work with you. If you're ready right now, between this Christmas and New Year's time to make the decision and break out this year, we'd love to be part of that process. I'll see you on the other side.